I'm showing uh, um, uh, sort of an, an introductory exhibition here at uh, Winchester and um, it's uh, a series uh, or a show made up of three of my last major series. Um, one is called uh, Future Imperfect, um, the other one is The Last Stand, which we're seeing a couple of those here, um, and the other one is Obsolete Delete. Um, the Last Stand is the most recent one that, I'm, that I've been working on. We finished that uh, in uh, 2015. And uh, it's a series, um, well, like all of my work, it's about the environmental crisis is, is, is what this work is about. And uh, these uh, um, old stumps here in the, in the forest were photographed on um, my uh, parents' farm up on Cortez Island. And uh, it was actually my gran great grandfather and great uncle who were actually the men who, who took these trees down. Um, in the earlier part of the 20th century. And, uh, and so I was looking at um, sort of uh, personal responsibility in the age of the environmental crisis and what's, what's going on with that. And, um, and uh, the, the genesis for this series started when I was going through the forest there and realizing that these stumps are, are um, decaying. And in another lifetime, even the evidence, these stumps here, is gonna be decayed and gone. And we're not even gonna, um, you know, people at that time are not gonna be able to really get a sense of the scale of what, what you to be here so the evidence of those first forests is going to be going to be gone so it was really a the last stand was really a, a documentary project to start with and then I added to that later on um, the other work obsolete delete is a series about um, uh, technological obsolescence and the speed of that and how that seems to be increasing as the years roll by here and the environment and kind of the collision of those two those two concepts and and how that's working together um, and then the first one, uh, that was one of my earlier series, 2009, Future Imperfect. Um, and that was uh, looking at two, put, putting humans back into sort of the natural environment and, uh, and using the human figure um, to uh, bring ourselves back into the natural order from which I sort of feel like we've definitely, uh, um, or may, maybe more of the opinion these days that we're above the natural environment and when in actual fact we're, we're finding out now because of the environmental crisis, that that's not the, not, in, not not the case, really. So, so um, yeah. So that's that's what we have showing here right now, and um, we've got another show starting up um, in October at Winchester as well, and that will be uh, a debut of a brand new series I have. Um, it's called the Anthropocene, and um, that will be a series of um, of, st of uh, studies, still life studies, um, with made of sculptures that I made in the studio. Of, uh, of human skulls, animal skulls, bones, all put together there. So I'm not going to give you any more on that one. You have to wait, wait for October to see that series. So, um, so this series, uh, this this one here is from the series Future Imperfect, and um, and this was uh, probably my my first really I, I would say serious uh, uh, collection of work that I finished in 2009. Um, we showed this in uh, at a, a big photography festival in China, um, and now this series is part of the uh, Chinese Museum of Photography. It's a part of their collection there, but. Um, these series, they're all these big, vast landscapes from the Pacific Northwest. Um, I'm definitely, I definitely feel myself as a, a, an artist with a really strong sense of place, and I think that's really important to my work. Um, and these, they, these figures here, there's, they're all self-portraits. Actually, I, I, I wanted to. Um, Mimic, um, you know when we see a, a flock of birds or a school of fish, we don't really see individual personalities. Um, and, and so I wanted to, again, sort of put our, uh, put, put human, or mankind back into the natural world um, and sort of mimic those kind of, those kind of uh, uh, visual clues. So I used myself, photographed myself in multiple positions, I had the camera on a tripod and a remote control in my hand, or would often have an assistant as well. Um, and then I'd photograph myself in one spot and then uh, get up and move to another spot and then I'd, I'd, I'd uh, compile those later on in post-production and, uh, and create these prints here. So um, uh, that was really a, a, an important part of, of the series for, or of this project for me was also using myself in the work. I really believe in that um, the, uh, the tra tradition um, of artists using themselves in their work and I feel that sort of lends a certain level of, uh, of authenticity to the work as well. So that was what was important for me with this series.